great wave off Kanagawa. Tomei Genesis, maybe, engine. All right, so welcome back. Continuing on, we are headed to Okuibuki, Okuibuki, Okuibuki Snow Resort now for JIDC. The, geez, look at that. Look at those guys. Oh, just sitting there. That's cool. Oh, going off the mountain here. Really in the middle of nowhere. Um, but the JIDC, the Drift Tournament, Japan International Drift Challenge, the Okuibuki has a time restriction, and this is an all-night tournament, so you have to be on the premises before 7 o'clock, and you can't leave until 7 o'clock in the morning. There is a, an agreement with like the people who live on the road, probably kind of exactly like this, where you know they don't want cars going in and out making a bunch of noise in the middle of the night, so their agreement is that you just can't use the road in the middle of the night. So I gotta get over there, I've got, a, it's gonna take what Google says two hours to get there, and I've got three hours. It was supposed to take me two hours to get here. It took me four hours, so uh, fingers crossed we can make this work. But yeah, onward and upward. like beautiful little mountain road and it would be so much more fun to be driving these roads in the DC too like this is why I'm excited to get the car running so I can cruise to events and just explore and check stuff out but like do it in a fun a fun car versus a minivan well we made it and the sun is going down you can see way up here in the mountains and oh, how about this S14? <laughs> Spectator parking, always a treat. Um, but yeah, I really don't know too much about the event. I just know that the winner gets a trip either for themselves and the car get to go to Oman to compete next year in the 2023 Oman Drift Championship, which is pretty cool. It gives like drivers here in Japan another outlet to drift internationally in the, you know, another pro series around the world. Um, I'm here because Hiroshi from Sakata Motors, he just said, hey man, like come out or whatever, check it out. So he's crewing for a team. I don't know, we're gonna find it out, but I just gotta find him. So we're gonna wander around until we find their pit and we'll say hi and go from there. A6 day continued, fitted and low. Love it. Two A6s. Yeah, A6 day continued, two A6s, fitted and low, looking good. They're really good looking cars. Hopefully they continue to get cheaper and cheaper and I can pick one of those up. Uh, oh, here we go. Vendor area. So we're gonna check this stuff out while we can see, cause the sun is gonna go down and I don't know how many lights are gonna be over here in the vendor area. But yeah, we got tires, Tempesta Evo, we got Shibata, Good Ride, Valino, all your Matsuri type foods, RC drifting, Tone tools. Hey, 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 some rear cuts. FRP replacement. Very nice marketing. Display your products where your customers are. Hey. Woo. All right, gotta keep. Dori Dore. Just dress up. Hey, GTR. Slam dish. Hardcore Japan. Red Mamushi. Energy drink looking drink maybe. I'm just wandering. It's kind of fun to have no uh, agenda here. ZSS, steering wheels, 
they do arms and stuff like that cleave wheels they are out at like every event sponsoring everything so at least they're you know giving back to the community speedmaster high-end oils and such uh really like good quality gear oils and lubrication lovka more oils there's the pits let's go over there oh it looks like there's the track some sort of figure eight setup going there maybe oh this is interesting if you're familiar with the fdj course i believe this run up here across the bridge is what they use and then where i'm standing now is part of that course and then they loop back down d1 uses that parking lot over there i think it's the same one as holy cow we got a full-on i'm gonna say daigo spec i don't know whose it is but good ride yaris there looking wild Things are definitely flowing with all the rain we've been having. Kind of cool to see as well. But here we go. Pits. Pits, pits, pits. Oh, oh, here's Zek Nova. Hiroshi should be here, maybe? I believe he's supporting that JZX there. Let's keep wandering around the pits. The sun's going to go down. We're going to lose it all. Heck yeah. Murdered out 180 with like Koki style front, vertex sides maybe, and some FRP maybe rear under, a JZX, R Nation S15, nothing marked, R34, Mike Racing JZX, Oh, I gotta stop in my tracks here because that is Garage Mac S14 Zenki Aero. Holy cow, like you never, ever, ever. This might be the original demo car. If this had chrome, I'm way too excited. If this had chrome, the works metal buffering, WMB, CR Kai's on it, this would be the demo car. Holy cow. So good. Garage Mac Zenki. You never see it. That is awesome. Really, really like that. Next to good looking Koki here. Whitey, wide, wide body. And what a little seven mount V mount setup on it. Bottom mount turbo. And that's what this event is going to be. I feel like this event's really going to be kind of, I don't want to say pros versus Joe's, but like there's going to be a, maybe a big disparity, maybe, in the drivers. Um, because it is a one-off like shootout event where this is the only event and the driver who wins you know gets the trip to Oman so it's pulled out a variety that's for sure uh, but yeah JZX full wild S15 rear rad and all that good stuff yeah Woo. there we go little course layout over here more pits over there I had switched directions. <laughs> this speaker over there is blasting the mic. See, here we go, like a more street stylish R32 sedan. Another good ride S15, looking pretty well prepped. S14 Koki, big top mount, 25, 20-ish G. And a 90, stripped out. R33, you don't see very much. 25, big turbo, still running master airflow sensor. Hey, how about that? That's pretty cool. Inlay on the cup fenders. Are we 26 manifold maybe on a 25, or it's a full 26? The old school Garrett, it looks like. And some JZ 2J180 Mamba Turbo, big plenum, really proper looking. The Boostar. 
S15 2J, again, another really proper, proper build. Medina S15, placing something in the rear, looks like drive shaft maybe. And a good old JZX100 Mark II, big turbo. Otherwise, this could be a street car in terms of engine base setup, anyway. Arise Motorsports. Wide, wide body on it. Kazama front bumper. Heck yeah, G Corporation on this 180. Origin front and rear fenders though, but G Corporation arrow looks pretty good. Keep it rolling. SS S15 again. No swap on this guy. HKS Turbo. Stock position radiator. R32, RB25, big Turbski. And a S13, big HKS top mount. Cool to see, you know, factory rocker cover on it still. Good look. Love the neon floral highlights on it. That one is an FDJ2 car, so that's pretty cool. Here you go, entered, but man, street floss daddy right there. Thumbnail? Can I have thumbnail? Yeah, just trying to get around here. Sun's gonna go down, I think cars are gonna start running, so. Really curious to see what happens come nighttime here. <laughs> There we go. Hardcore Japan, R32 with the 2J in it. Tonka, wow. It's a wild intake manifold. Turbo smart gate up top. Yeah, really, really neat. Another JZX, Impact Racing. Kind of popping all over. Sorry, guys. S13, S15 front. You can see just the wild, wild uh, range of cars here. I'm not sure if they're running two, two like different classes or whatever. But oh, hey, Okinawa represent first body Miyazato. These guys have been Okinawa forever. Like super OG drift team from Okinawa, and they've been competing in like I think D1 lights. Um, for years also now, like leaving the cars in mainland and making the trip up here. So it's cool to see them still around. They would usually do really well or win the competitions in Okinawa, so I think it was just time to move on. But we're talking, you know, that's 10 years ago. So they've been at it for a while. You gotta back up for this. Good ride is looking legit here. Tome, Tome Genesis maybe engine, plasma man intake. Massive Garrett. Here you go. See, this is just like highlighting the difference in spec of these builds, but that's also what makes it really interesting here. That you can hear. Wait for it, wait for it. The man himself, Naoki, is also in attendance. I'm just gonna keep saying it. Just a wild, wild variety of cars here for, for level, like street spec all the way up to like legit pro pro so yeah makes for interesting battles and not commonly seen how about a ae or sorry an a31 Sapphiro. oh man keeping it true the vitor oh this is so this is a mark what is this this is a mark x that uh this is a youtube channel. sanda's they have a youtube channel sanda kyoda i believe it is sanda brothers or something like that um but yeah this this car was never manual or Jay-Z or anything like that, and they just swapped all this in here to convert what is really a dirt cheap chassis these days into a drift car. Um, how well it works, I'm not sure, but you can see the wheelbase looks super long on it. It is a big car. And then, yeah, S14, also a Vitour. Damn, styling hard over here. Kind of has low brain vibes, or low origin vibes, I mean. Really 
good, really good. Oh, Mitsuru Power. There's some really stylish cars here, heck yeah. Like, let's have a style competition as well as a drifting competition. Oh, and this, yeah, it might be Abo Moon somebody. I'm not sure which driver. But yeah, definitely Abo Moon spec, low being sports. Dang, this is amazing. This is truly, truly, this might be all, you know, GTR rep style, and that's fine. Um, oh yeah, Okubo factory, so this is all FRP, you know, what is it, Z-Tune type parts. But you can't, you can't fake the wheels or the Brembos. Holy cow, this is awesome. Fully gutted inside. Four door wide body. Look at the trans tunnel. Look at the dash. Aftermarket meter panel there. Race display. Good grief. This thing is sick. Fuel tank. Getting some work done on it. So, if you want to make your non GTR look like a GTR, Okubo Factory has the parts. Oh, it looks like Naoki brought his S15 as well. What he's gonna be driving, we don't know. Or maybe Miki's driving as well. I have no idea. I'm just on, along for the ride. There's a nice I-34 over there. So yeah, we got Naoki's S15 looking proper. I don't know what he's driving. And we got R34. And the, is that the Rodeo? That's 2JS15 with the Liberty Walk kit on it. Cusco coming out with a, I don't want to say simple, but it still has factory wiring harness, you know. Oh, EFR top mount setup on it. Another in style S13. I'm not sure who's driving. They definitely brought us some cars. There's a good turnout here. Side X Japan. This is what Fausto's car. Big Turbo 2 JS15 and the most wild of wide bodies. Kazama Spec S15. Hey, A80 Supra. Why not? And some more OGs. MCR factory over here. 2J S15 looking proper and 180. And please, everybody, go buy D Max Type 3 for your 180s. Another low, low looking S15. I like that. Oh. And the big. Big Turbo V he had, SR, Hachiroku. Wow, Hypertune manifold on it. Yeah, really, really wild setup. Look at those huge watts, 17, 18 watts. And then we got, yeah, another FC with the Rocket Bunny conversion front arrow on it. Man, and the watts, how about it? I hope some of that's working out. I hope the lighting works out. Um, but yeah, he's saying challenge class on the speaker right now. This Manapi announcer for everything in Japan these days. But yeah, they say there's a challenge class. So there must be like a beginner entry level class and then the, the expert pro class, whatever you want to call it as well. So yeah, definitely, um, or it seems like there's different levels here. But check this out. So how about this S15 Boss 14 SR bottom mount. Great wave off Kanagawa. It's a good one. Who's that? Airbrush. Airbrush. Wow. So, so, so. Oh, so this guy. So he did this airbrush, and that's really, really good. That hood with the airbrush on it. The amount of effort in that is like probably equivalent to building the engine. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. I gotta give these guys a little more time because that's all airbrush. They came from Fukuoka because it's a 10 hour drive with, you know, a car hauler. 
Um, it's got a Walsh diversion turbo manifold. It's just like a little high flow stock turbo, so it's not crazy in power or anything like that. You know, legit Rocket Bunny arrow, like full oh, show car. And that hood is just amazing. So, yeah, there we go. And we got the Vertex BMW right there. I think 2J inside. He's driving in the uh, challenge class, so it's only single runs. It's not uh, tandem battles. So that it might survive. BN Sports 100, big turbo. She bought the S15. And we're at the end. Hey, a GR. GR Hachiroku. I don't know the arrow, but that is really cool. Wow. That is cool. Big 2J in it, big turbo board warner. She bought the brakes. Wise Fab on it. GR 86s are such good looking cars. Wow. Little detour here to talk about this thing. These are kind of taking over, gaining popularity. Australians are like, yeah, we've had those for years, and Americans are like, that's not a truck. But to see a truck that's this size in Japan is not common at all. Uh, that's pretty darn cool. If that can pull a car, that's pretty awesome. the course layout there. Uh, so yeah, there's three classes, under 20, and then over 20, anybody single runs, and then pros. So that's under 20. Holy cow, it's loud. I'm gonna put the picture in here, but bad news on the Garage Mac S14. It's not his car, so he doesn't know. He's borrowing the car, so I think it is the exact same car, though. S13, wrapping up our tour here. This is the event coordinator, kind of the guy who put the whole thing together with help of the people, Takizawa-san. That's his personal car. I think he's renting it out because there's full board stickers over the Zek Nova stickers. And this is his other personal car that I believe Hiroshi is crewing for this one, but obviously nobody's around right now. But yeah, Takizawa's, this was like D1 GP or light spec, JZX100 Mark II. And it's got the new, the new Zek Nova wheels. I believe they rebranded or named Zinu. Full on JZX100 Mark II. Uh, I kind of Mr. Night Drift Toge himself, Hiroki Kono. You might see him on uh, some internet videos. Recognizable, notable S15 Garage Milk Tea. So this is now the beginning of the single runs. Hiroshi, Kono class, what are you doing? Challenge class. Challenge class, okay. okay. So now, now we're in challenge class, we finished the under 20. Now we're challenge class, and he's starting challenge class. So here we go, all the all the street spec style guys, street style, you know what I mean. All the street style guys are challenge class, and these guys are doing just single runs. Uh, but yeah, there's some probably really good drivers in here, but maybe their cars just aren't up to, you know, comp spec, but it's cool, they're participating nonetheless. It's 
So our dude in the S14 bobbled the entry a little bit. Probably got a zero or something. But otherwise, he preserved the hood. <laughs> so the, hurt, the hood lives on. Now that it's dark, maybe it's just changing perspective from everything, but everybody's having trouble with the entry and then linking this like entry, you know, rear clipping zone. There we go. Entry in the zone and cutting the zone and missing the zone. Obviously you don't want to bin it in the wall right there because there's not much runoff on the entry and you're going full speed across the track or whatever, but yeah, like that is, the, the winner's basically, for the challenge cast, the winner's the one who can probably link that. Like that's, everyone is messing up right there. That thing, holy cow, sounds so good. So, uh, challenge class thing's wrapping up here. Let's go see how you know she's doing. Getting ready to go. All right, so world class, the quote unquote pro class, whatever you want to call it. Oh, he's such a big hit. Let's get started. Sounds like they're going to go straight into tandem battles. But there's some fireworks coming first. Hiroshi, pep talking. He said the driver's from Thailand, I think. Pep talk for them. Oi, 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 oi. Gambate. Do your best. So you got a night event, you can do fireworks. That's cool. So there you go, that's a full run. It's such a long course that they have to change tires in between runs. So it's like they could almost get rid of that last loop down there, but we'll see how it goes in competition. working through uh, seating or qualifying for the world class, which is like the pro class. Uh, I think maybe they finished the first run, so the second run starting now. So maybe tandem competition is going to start around midnight or something like that. Like it literally is all night long. Prime parking for a little 
dinner, 11 p.m. dinner, and some drifting show. Got my earplugs in because I got abused today, a six day, and now <laughs> this, all this anti-lagging going on, just wearing my ears out. I'll take a break for a minute, eat some dinner, and enjoy some drifting. Oh man, good morning. It's like 3.30 now. I took a nap. I don't know, three or four hours, but finishing top 32 now, I think, getting ready to start top 16. And we'll go down and see who's left to check it out, but I couldn't make it. Ate some food and like that was it. So, yeah, still going. You can see it did rain and it is drying up now, which is pretty awesome. When I was eating dinner, it started to rain and then it started coming down harder. So I was like, well, I'll just sleep anyway, but I uh, can't believe it dried up. So this is actually pretty cool. <laughs> Perfect, perfect timing on that. All right, up and at him. Oh, oh. All right, looks like they're going up for a top 16 ceremony. I'm gonna do the responsible thing you should do when your body is down on sleep. Just gonna pound an energy drink and uh, yeah, we'll keep going. Yeah, this is cool. Obviously the GR86 is cool, but that is Sumika Kumokawa, which is probably like, ah, I don't, I'm not saying she's old, I'm saying she's the longest running female drift competitor, one of the longest in Japan. Um, yeah, Sumika's been around for man, well over 10 years now, so really cool to see her out competing still. Still in a yellow 180SX, she used to have M Sports, and now I believe she's on D-Max. There you go, that's kind of like future, past, both very cool cars. So yeah, good luck to Sumika in the top 16. That's really cool. Man, it's a fresh contact and feeling alive again. If you guys wear glasses contacts, you know the feeling. But yeah, it seems like we're ready to start here. Top 16. Right out here now. Sun's coming back up. Uh, we're still in the top 16.
ずにそのまま走り切れれば負けないといけないですね。Down to the finals. Uh, you can see it's bright out. It's been a long night, but it's a pretty cool layout. Um, if you're familiar with Okuibuki from D1, this is the entry ramp on D1, so it's run just opposite direction. You know, the entry ramp over there tonight or on this e event. So, just for reference, here's the D1 entry or whatever, and this is what they're jumping off of. Like, it's steep over there, but it's pretty gradual hump right here. But there, I mean, that's how much speed they're generating right there and then just launching down this hill. Yeah, so it looks like Naoki, Na uh, yeah, Naoki Nakamura and Mao Yamanaka, I think Kenji Yamanaka's son, are in the final, so. Uh, S15 versus S15, both Jay-Z power, maybe? So yeah, we'll see. You see the pits are getting packed up, 20 minute break, and then the finals are gonna go. Um, but yeah, everyone's getting ready to go home. And then you can actually leave the facility at 7 a.m. due to the agreement, I think it is, uh, and so, we have about an hour until 7 a.m. right now, I think. So hopefully with this little break, and then the finals award ceremony, they'll be all ready, and we can all leave and go home and get some rest. So I'm sure a lot of these teams have been up for well over 24 hours at this point because, you know, drifting and everything is last minute and all that stuff. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool event though. Cool vibe, like running all night. Um, kind of cool, well, not kind of, like really cool in the mountains facility. Cool event that hopefully yeah get some momentum behind it and they can do it again next year um and i think you know being like the shootout style it kind of brings out a wide variety of drivers which is also a cool aspect to it instead of like a, a full series that people have to commit to in addition to doing other series or whatever <laughs> Here we go, finals getting ready to go. Mao Yamanaka. A lot of good support there. That's Komatsu there on the the tall guy on the far right. I believe that's Kazama san talking to him in the door there. And then I do believe his dad is Kenji Yamanaka, or it's all walking around as well. So, <laughs> full support team, which is pretty darn awesome. 
I mean, I guess, you know, hand it down generation to generation, connections and stuff. And then push your, push the next generation further. So that's really cool to see. Going against literally like the best in the world. <laughs> So there you have it, Naoki wins. Uh, not unexpected, I mean, the dude is just really good. Uh, so yeah, cool to see upcoming talent. And Naoki is just still reigning supreme. But uh, yeah, cool event. Marathon day continues as I drive home, but yeah, we won't bore you guys with that. So we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Much love, be well.